Ripple XRP, two things are coming, and they will be unstoppable. Breaking news, XRP is going to skyrocket anytime soon, and we are sure that even the people who once did not believe in XRP's potential and dazzling future are now investing in bulk. The XRP non-believers, as we like to call them, have now converted to full-time believers. XRP is a complete fighter, and the entire community knows this by now. The coin has proven its worth on multiple occasions, and we believe it will continue to do so in the future. As we all know, Ripple and XRP have been through a lot these past few months, and even with the ongoing lawsuit, XRP knows how to stand its ground. But believe us, besides the lawsuit, there are two huge things coming for XRP, and these two will be unstoppable. Yes, that's right, stay tuned until the end of the video to find out about it. Hey guys, glad to have you back. For today's video, we have a lot of juicy news for you. We are going to talk about the two massive things coming up for XRP. So what's really going on in the crypto market? What is going to be the impact of this on the price of XRP? Moreover, we will talk about the latest XRP news and price predictions. We also have XRP price analysis, and more information surrounding Ripple at the end. Before diving into the video, if you love money in crypto, like the video and subscribe to the channel to watch more such videos. So without further ado, let's get into the video. You wanna win an iPhone 12, maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? You decide. All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. And leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Shall we? Now, we have talked about this before about how the SEC is deliberately dragging the lawsuit and the only logical explanation that we could come up with is that the government is working to create their own CBDCs. There. We said it. What else could it be? What do you guys think? Well, if you haven't noticed, Fedcoin is slowly becoming an inevitable fate, and so are the crypto regulations. In addition, it looks like RippleNet is challenging the authorities according to the regulatory body, unofficially of course. The reason behind it is that the network was originally designed to handle CBDCs, and that means it's been in business for longer than the central bank's so-called digital currency that is all set to launch. For those of you who don't know what CBDCs are, don't worry as we are going to educate you about them. Central Bank Digital Currency also known as CBDCs, is virtual money backed and issued by a central bank. As cryptocurrencies and stable coins have become more popular, the world's central banks have realized that they need to provide an alternative form of money or let the future of money pass them by. 81 countries are now exploring a CBDC. In a report published in May 2020, only 35 countries were considering a CBDC. Now the number has increased twice. Five countries have even now fully launched a digital currency. The Bahamian sand dollar was the first CBDC to become widely available. Moving on, a tweet worth mentioning here is by Truthseek33, which suggests that XRP will hit $1,000 and eventually hold through it. It's the true XRP schizo style. We firmly believe that this is true. XRP is just getting started with its all-time high. It is evident that XRP has been moving for the top spot ever since it was launched. The main purpose of designing XRP, as most of you already know, was that it will act as the bridge currency between cryptocurrency and the conventional fiat system, and we can see it happening soon. With that being said, we believe that the $1,000 mark is not so hard to believe. The only hurdle in XRP's way is the ongoing SEC versus Ripple lawsuit. On the legal front, we have an article highlighting exactly what is happening in the court. The Securities and Exchange Commission has replied to the court in further support of its motion to compel Ripple to search and produce relevant Slack messages to or from the 22 key employees. The plaintiff argued that Ripple did not dispute it had a agreed to do that and raised no objection in doing so until July 30th. The article further said that, while Ripple now tries to paint the Slack messages, it refuses to search as not uniquely relevant to this litigation, presumptively, as Ripple has not reviewed them, Ripple's motion to seal concedes that at least some Slack messages are relevant. In fact, since the SEC filed its motion, Ripple has produced new, highly relevant Slack messages, the SEC said in the letter. The agency is replying to Ripple's refusal to hand over the terabytes of Slack messages, which the blockchain firm argues are unreasonably duplicative of Ripple's extensive production of over 1 million pages of discovery. In addition, the defendants claimed such demand would likely take months to complete and come at a very significant cost. In its reply, the SEC said that the time consumed process should present no issue in this case as the SEC does not object to Ripple's production of the Slack messages while expert discovery occurs or even afterwards. The individual defendant's motion to dismiss are still pending, the parties plan to file motions for summary judgment and no trial date is imminent, the SEC stated. In sum, there is no realistic prospect that the parties will fully resolve this case for several months, if not longer. For that reason, the SEC says there is no need to cut off discovery of documents that are critical to the trial and that Ripple agreed to produce until month. Jeremy Hogan, a popular attorney within the XRP community, said in June that with the 50-day extension for discovery, no settlement is expected to happen until its close. So, any settlement is likely to be after at least the close of fact discovery, 
and that is now early September, and even more likely to be after October 16th. What if both parties don't reach a deal? Then I believe the two main issues will be decided by Judge Torres at the summary judgment. Motions must be filed within 30 days of the close of discovery, and that should be November 16th, but responses to motion and sir replies could push any summary judgment to an unknown date in the future. I don't see the case being decided at summary judgment until early 2022 maybe January, attorney Jeremy Hogan concluded. What we can infer from this article is that it's evident that the SEC is trying really hard to hold on to the case. As the article suggests, this lawsuit is far from being finished. All things considered, it hasn't stopped Ripple from continuing with its ambition to become a worldwide cross-order network. Ripple is already collaborating with Japanese banks to increase its real-life applications. Ripple Networks has recently announced a partnership where SBI Remit was teaming up with Coins.ph and Ripple was responsible for providing on-demand liquidity. Up next, Jackie Heinrich, who is a congressional correspondent and fill-in anchor for Fox News Channel, tweeted that, police cars revolving light breaking, thread, the State Department has been hit by a cyber attack, and notifications of a possible serious breach were made by the Department of Defense Cyber Command. This is how you get an idea that something huge is about to happen. The only way Ripple's XRP will take over the top spot is if there is a change in power, and we think that's exactly what is happening right now. Aside from that, there are assumptions that the black swan is up on the horizon. A black swan risk refers to the possibility of the occurrence of an unexpected event. When that happens, get ready to see XRP reach the top of the entire crypto space. Additionally, a lot of crypto and XRP enthusiasts argued that the central banks are only into RippleNet and Ripple while they don't want anything to do with its native token XRP. We believe that it's not entirely true. For some reason, it might look that way but banks still use XRP, which is why these partnerships we have mentioned before are going to help XRP reach the top and make its price skyrocket. Moving on, we believe there's no way RippleNet can exist without XRP. The reason behind it is that the network converts currency into XRP making it easier to get almost instant payouts and reduces the cross-border fees at the same time. So it apparently looks like RippleNet needs XRP just as much as XRP needs RippleNet. In short, this cryptocurrency will continue to increase in price and value even higher thanks to this interdependency. Besides that, XRP is also somehow connected to Ethereum, which is the second largest cryptocurrency through Flare. With the Flare network, investors and users can easily use XRP on the Ethereum platform to trade, which implies that XRP is becoming interconnected with the crypto world as well. What we can see is that Ripple and XRP are not here to play. They have some serious things going on for them that are above just being the relay between crypto and fiat. The SEC is scared of what RippleNet and XRP might be able to achieve in the future and are using every possible tactic to somehow stop them. That said, this is it for today's video. If you want to continue to know about XRP, we have more videos waiting for you on our channel to check out. We would like to remind you that the cryptocurrency market is highly volatile, and by the time this video is up, the prices might have changed to a whole different value. Our research is the reflection of our work. Do your own research before investing, and make sure to consult a financial advisor. We hope that our video was helpful for you regarding your cryptocurrency concerns and questions. In the comments section, tell us what you think about XRP and the ongoing lawsuit. Also, tell us what you want to see next. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. See you in the next video.